Yeah, so around 10.30 I went out to put the bins out and there was this really weird, eerie wind blowing through that because you can see straight through the demolition site at the moment and so all the wind is just going all through it. It's really weird. And um, I thought that it didn't sound right. There was too much clanging and stuff. And then around a, probably about 10 past 11, we heard this massive, huge banging crash. We ran out to see what it was. And um, there was just people screaming out there because it had hit their fence. And there was this giant bit of corrugated iron roof with the beams and everything still attached. Um, it had gone over their scaffolding that they put up, blown all over onto the road. It had hit their fence. And um, it was scary. It was really scary because, you know, the lady next door is pregnant, she's due to have a baby today and you know there's just flying debris everywhere, the stuff we're breathing in because when you open the door when it happened the whole air was covered in thick stuff flying everywhere. I don't know if it was dust or whatever but it was just, yeah it was really weird. So by the time I got to call the police it was about 20 past 11 and they sent their guys out. Um, I then called the West Connects 24-7 line and he raised an urgent ticket, but no one was answering their phone or reading their emails. And he had to messaging people in Canberra, and it was a giant big process. The police had got on the phone to him saying it's a major secure or a safety breach for residents. Um, in the meantime, the fire brigade had to come over, and they were clearing up until like 1:30 this morning. It's just, it's just scary for everyone because you know how do we know it's not going to happen again? It's supposed to be windy again today. We were told that it'd be down by the end of January, but still. Not, it's still a few weeks over.